She held the file up to the light by accident through the page. She saw data that had been blacked out in just a few hours. Catherine solved the rocket trajectory that had baffled NASA for months, but instead of applause, she was met with suspicion and humiliation every day she ran miles just to use a segregated restroom. The office coffee pot carried a label that read colored, and the doors to key meetings were always closed to her, she thought. She would be pushed aside for good until one rainy afternoon. The director saw her return, drenched from head to toe, still clutching her calculations against her chest for the first time. He realized prejudice was destroying his best talent. The next morning, he tore down the colored restroom sign with his own hands. There's plain old toilets. Go wherever you damn well please. Preferably closer to your desk. A wall of bias had been cracked open. But the real test was only beginning with the launch approaching. Data kept changing, and no one could calculate the new landing coordinates. The astronaut insisted they let that girl check the numbers again. Catherine was finally brought to the blackboard. Everyone held their breath as she worked using old mathematical methods. She wrote out the critical numbers step by step, and at the last minute, she gave them the only solution that would bring the capsule safely home. The rocket launched, entered orbit, and landed exactly as she predicted. The room erupted in cheers. But the loudest applause was for the black woman who had once been ignored through sheer ability. She broke down barriers and forced prejudice to yield. She proved one undeniable truth. History is not changed by color or gender, but by the precision of numbers calculated down to the very last decimal point.